What does John do for fun? Make beer? When I was in high school, I wasn't really sure uh, what I was going to do or what I wanted to do. I definitely came from the generation that understood that when you finished high school, you were going to college. That was not an option. That was just the way it was going to be. Kind of just bounced around, fell into advertising and public relations in the business school and just kind of went from there. And, uh, Graduated with my degree, got a job with Ford, and became a field rep. And just like most people from Dearborn, I was into the auto industry and off and running. Well, right now I'm what they call an analyst for Nissan North America. We put together the dealer service part catalogs. Long term, uh, well, I'm gonna make beer for a living. <laughs> I, I laugh when I say I'm gonna make beer for a living because if, if you'd have told me 20 years ago, you know, given me a list of 10 things that I'd probably you know, be planning on doing as I, you know, as I'm older than 40, opening a brewery probably wouldn't have been anywhere on the list, but uh, we're going to give it a go. It was supposed to be just him, but, you know, with anything in life, when you see your partner, you know, kind of struggling and just kind of burning both ends, you know, you know that you gotta step up and start helping out and doing what you can so he can sleep at night and so that's what I did. I mean, it's... <laughs> if I remember right, I didn't come home and say it. I think we were out at the bar yes, somewhere. Yes, we were. We were out at the bar. We were at Moose's <laughs> when you told me. And I almost spit my beer out. <laughs> <laughs> but we had ordered a, uh, we had ordered a round of beers and they were just not that good. And I asked, the server, they'd, uh, they'd been selling a lot of it, and she swore that they were, and it was kind of one of those things where it's like, well, man, if they're getting $6 a pint for this stuff, why not me? You know, mine, mine's just as good, and so I, you know, I thought I said, well, maybe we should look into this. And, that just sort of grew into this project from there, I think. And I'm like, okay, that sounds like a good plan. I, you know, like I said, I had him show me on paper if it was going to work, you know, his projections, and he did that for about a year and a half and showed it to me, and I'm like, okay, start the process. Every home brewer goes through at least one phase where they kind of throw the idea of going pro and opening up a brewery. I think everyone throws that idea around at some point. The, the name's going to be Dearborn Brewing, so it won't be exactly my name, but at the end of the day, whether I'm brewing or whether we have a brewer, I'm still responsible for everything that happens here, so the, the risk is pretty much the same from my seat either way. Obviously, uh, you know, it's a It's a risk, it's a calculated risk, but we feel comfortable with what we've put together that we can, we can make this go. I, I think that's the thing, it's, it's a concern, but you have faith in your numbers and your business plan and the product you're gonna put out and that tempers it and that way you just you keep moving forward because you really believe that you know, you'll succeed. You can succeed. Damn, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think we're gonna be great.